Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the previous video, we explored the southern routes below Sand Gem Town. I'm going to figure out which numbers those were. I think it's 211 and 212? Uh, 220, 221. In today's video, we're going to be exploring the water-connected area of uh, Floroma Town. The... Uh, not the Valley wouldn't work, so we're going over there now to get an item ball. Uh, we're going to be going to... Oh, we got an Electrolyzer. Cool, that's an item to evolve Pokemon. We're going to be going to... Uh, why is the name blinking? It is the Fuego Ironworks. There we go. Now I've got it. Yes, so here we go. We're gathering some items. TM24 Thunderbolt. You can get Thunderbolt for free. You don't have to grind it out. Um, great move to have, of course. Lots of damage in the Electric category. Um, super amazing move. Because we're going to be fighting a lot of, I believe, Steel and Fire type Pokemon, I want to switch out my lead... Um, not saying that Corona is fully leveled at all, but I do want to try and get Rash some XP, uh, with Saber, of course, being the one holding the XP share, as always, because that is how we're going to get very, very good levels on our Pokemon, and I'm going to get as far as I can without having to Surf, because I don't really want to use a Repel. <laughs> it's just one of those small things. Okay. I will not use Repel. 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 Okay, I've said it enough times. What's this? I really... That's just an area connected to a route I could have walked to. Okay. Pardon me for wanting to take the water route game. Here we go. Fuego Ironworks. Boom. Well, it was the Ironworks until I was so rudely interrupted. We can actually enter the top part here of Floroma Town, the Floroma Meadow. This is an area we've seen, but not previously been able to access. I assume there's a ton of hidden items here. That I am uh, not going to try and find. There's some exposed items, like a Miracle Seed. That's a move, I believe it boosts the power of Grass-type moves. Uh, there's another hidden or seen item here. An Ultra Ball that allows you to catch Pokemon, in case you haven't been informed of that yet. Uh, so yeah, if you hop down here, you'll actually be able to go right back into Floroma Town. A Rare Candy, increase the level of a Pokemon by one. That's, I believe, our third Rare Candy we have on hand. Saving pretty much all those for the last level push uh, on Saber because those are going to be difficult to do. Leaf Stone allows you to evolve certain types of Pokemon. For example, you can evolve... Wait, no you can't, never mind. I was going to say you can evolve your uh, Eevee into Fl uh, Leafeon, but that is false. You need to level it up by the Mossy Stone. All right, so let's cross over here into the, uh, the Fuego Ironworks. We're going to pick these berries first, and then we will head inside. Uh, there is a bit of a puzzle inside of here. Uh, weep hair berries or weep hair berries. Interesting. Haven't seen these ones before. This looks like an orange berry here on the end just by color, but I don't think orange berries look like that as far as the plant goes. It is a kelpsy berry. Interesting. And of course, you can always plant berries in this soil spot, but I am far too lazy to want to do that. All right, here we go. Going to. Oh, I shouldn't have run. Really shouldn't have run. Okay, here we go. I'm going to walk. Very gently up here, and as you can see, we can hop down to get to the Eterna Forest area. Back here at the Fuego Ironworks, we can go inside. That is the big deal. Uh, is there anything back here? Is there a reason why we can access this area? We can get a big mushroom. Here, it's hidden. I can tell. I can see through your lies, game. I know when you are hiding an item from me. Let's go inside. On second thought, let's read this description first. Fuego Ironworks, home to the Molten Foundries. Very simple flavor text, but a nice touch nonetheless. Alright, I don't believe there are hidden items in here, but there are puzzles that relate to spinning tiles. So if you step on a tile, it'll take you in the direction that that tile is facing, and you will not be able to stop until you hit a solid wall. For example, if I step on this one, I will have to go all the way two ups and a right in order to stop. So don't want to step on a tile that you're not too confident in. You always want to make sure that you have a plan. And of course, there's trainers to fight, which is absolutely amazing. We do need the EXP. I work in the fiery foundry. You bet I'm hot and sweaty. Did not ask. I I do assume that, yes, but I did not ask Worker Dylan, who sent out Machop, a fighting type Pokemon, to my Rash, also a fighting type Pokemon. Uh, however, I have Poison Jab. There we go. I don't know if Poison is super effective or not against fighting, or if I'm just good at the game. Yeah, I think I'm just hitting high damage because I'm higher level. All right, we're getting some levels on everybody here. Machoke, okay. I should really pull up my uh, my list here of the Pokemon I need to see. Now I have it right next to me and I can uh, cross anything off that we might come across. I don't think we'll see any today though, to be completely honest with you. Alrighty, there we go. This is kind of easy because we are a little overleveled for these fights. Thankfully I can say that for once. I burned out. 
Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, there is a puzzle. As you can see, there is a puzzle. Let's go up here. There we go. Love to slam into grates because grates or barrels or anything, they stop you from moving. And that is, of course, our ultimate objective is to get where we need to be without taking a very sweet long amount of time. Okay, here we go. So see, we have to actually backtrack here and take the other available path. Uh, we need to take, we took this one previously, now we need to go to this one. And obviously that big foundry in the middle is our end goal. Oh, looks like we are going to keep going. You see, we do have to hit something solid before we can stop. Thankfully we did. Let's battle this guy and then get that item ball and continue on our merry, merry way. Well, it's not often we get a visitor like you in the Ironworks. Let's mark the occasion with a battle. You'd think their boss would get mad at them for not doing their job. <laughs> I mean, even when we're not battling them, they kind of just stand there. Like, what's... what are you getting paid for? Nothing, apparently. Oh, can't use Poison Jab on something that isn't able to be poisoned. That is a oversight on my side. I should have used a different spark. Electric. I was expecting fire types more than electric, but I guess you are part steel, so, you know, I'll give it to you. That's fine. Ooh, cool animation. I can't believe I've never looked at the revenge animation. Super effective. Duly noted. We'll be using a lot of revenge in this gym. Uh, not, I said this gym. This ain't a gym. This is, there's people. Where'd they get so many Pokemon gym trainers? Those aren't gym trainers. They're just people. Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. It's pretty recent, and it was also from a pretty popular media location, so wouldn't be surprised if you got it. It would just be remembering that it is a reference than actually seeing the movie that it's from. Oh, I just revealed it was a movie. I was going to try and keep it ambiguous. Dang it. Yeah, it's from a movie. Okay, three Magnemite. Thank you for being an easy trainer and just locking on three times. Cool animation for lock on, except there's, you know, he took aim, guys. Watch out. He's taking aim. He's taking aim. That's eh, not a big deal. All right. Super effective. All the lovely, lovely good things. Can we level up? No, not quite. We do need to battle a bit more. Fire! And once more, only because I feel like it. Fire! What a joke. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> a red shard. Lots of shards here. You can take these to the shard people and get, you know, new moves or really whatever you desire. For some reason, if it's shard moves, then you can go and get some shard moves. Okay, good to note that there is a... Wow, this is going to be a very long cycle through. Hopefully, we will hit a dead end here. Awesome, we can get a couple of item balls. Blue shard. Okay, a little bit of a of a snore kind of item to find, but that's all right. And a green shard. Lots of shards, as I've said. Lots and lots of shards. Um, so we can head. We can head over. That's like our only option is is this way. There we go. And I see that item ball. I will be running for that one shortly. Okay, here we go. Now we have gotten down to the wire. A Firestone used for evolving your Fire-type Pokemon. You can use this on an Eevee to get a Flareon. Okay, so if we go that way, it takes us to somewhere we've already been. Don't want to go there. We are going to go down. Okay, now we do need to think for a quick second. So if we take this one, it'll take us up and over. Don't want to go there. This one will go up, over, up, over, up. Don't want to go there. Top is up, down, over. Yep, top is the answer. Okay, that probably made no sense to anybody. So, oh, that is going to take us really close to a battle. However, we're going to temporarily avoid it, not step on these accidentally. Get a rock incense, cool. Um, just for quick measure, let's see what was over here. That takes you back. Okay, we don't want to go back. So we have this guy to battle now, and then we can continue on on our adventures. Let's see, who's he? Are you maybe getting annoyed by where the floor panels take you? I'm actually doing a pretty good job of understanding how it works and uh, predicting my movements. I'm a little proud of myself, Conrad. Conrad sent out a magmar. Uh, unfortunately not on the list of Pokemon we need to see. Uh, however, I will be uh, sucker punching him. Hopefully that does a lot of damage. He's pure fire, right? So it would just be... <gasps> he has flame body! No! I've been burned! Oh, well he feels dumb now. Fire spin uh, traps you in a vortex, so I'm getting lots of damage over time. But it's okay, because I will just poison jab him. There we go. Punch! And good, I can give him a burn heal after this battle, I'm not too concerned. Um, Rash gained enough experience to level to level 40, okay, there we go. Into the 40s now, and Saber also grew to level 43, cool. Uh, I'm going down in flames. So if you remember, level 48 is where we're looking for uh, Saber. 
Actually, hold on. Does he heal automatically from burn? He does not. We'll have to heal him. Anyway, yes, 48 is the place to be for Saber. He's level 43. And we do have three, three, three rare candies. So there we go. No choice but to go up twice. And um, voila, we can now speak to, actually, let's get this first. TM35 Flamethrower. So obviously another great move. We use that on Picante all the time, who is currently waiting in the PC box, of course. Let's see, can anyone learn Thunderbolt? I think we can get a large variety. No, we cannot. I was expecting a little bit better. Okay, what about Flamethrower? I think we can teach um, Saber Flamethrower, and that might be pretty good for him. Although actually, you know, now that I think about it, I don't want to teach him that. I don't want to teach him that because I'm saving actually for something. Del no moves, stop teaching, there we go. Um, we can actually give him an ice type move and that's obviously amazing because ice types are super effective against dragon types and being a dragon which is also super effective against dragon type actually wait hold on i'm thinking now they send out an ice type to counter my dragon type and i come out with a fire move it would be good to teach him flamethrower we'll, we'll do that after we talk to this guy well hello it's not often i get a visitor here i tried to make the ironworks run better with the moving floor tiles but no one was happy about it they said the moving floor tiles made them dizzy but you don't want to listen to me wine here's a souvenir we got a star piece thank you mr fuego for the star piece my ironworks makes iron by removing impurities from iron ore in the process we find a variety of colored shards if you'd like we can trade star pieces for these shards yes and uh there we go we get some nice shards if we give him sh uh, star pieces. So we can, uh, you know, do that anytime we want. And um, I don't know why he made these all point to him and now we can leave. So yeah, that was actually it for the ironworks. Little bit of a short uh, place there, but it works. It's some good XP. Uh, we got a couple of level ups. We got one for Rash and one for Saber. Um, that's good. That's what we like to see. So in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be doing one more side quest, and then we're actually going to be continuing to do side things, but not side quests. We're actually going to be going and catching the three lake Pokemon, but that's in two videos. That is going to be all for now, though. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me when you guys spread my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. Until then, as always, take care.